This is the first of four programs in which I want to question some of the assumptions usually made about the tradition of European painting. That tradition which was born about 1400, died about 1900. Tonight, it isn't so much the paintings themselves which I want to consider, as the way we now see them, now in the second half of the 20th century. Because we see these paintings as nobody saw them before. If we discover why this is so, we shall also discover something about ourselves and the situation in which we are living. It's really interesting. We needed to read about two people, uh, Lichman and Patton. Um, I was really excited to find out that Lichman opened with a quote by John Berger. John Berger is one of my most favorite aesthetic writers ever. Um, his book ways of seeing which then became like a british uh, a bbc television series is amazing and so uh, the clip that i just showed was the very beginning of his series of ways of seeing which is so prevalent to the concept of qualitative research so i was really excited to show it to you um he, his book opens up by just saying, you know, um, a child sees before it writes. And it is through this visual conception that we form this ideology and way of knowing. And that's the basis of everything that he writes, uh, which comes from an art history lens, but is so anthropological and uh, so qualitative that I understand why Lichman used uh, John Berger <laughs> as a quote, you know, I mean, but I was, I was so excited about it. Uh, kind of let's, let's jump into uh, what the assignment really is about. I, I wanted to kind of give a little bit more like acting role play back and forth on some of these topics, but I'm just going to kind of address this. I think I only have five minutes for this <laughs> anyways. So uh, let's get to it. The, the main point that uh, Lichman was trying to say was that schools are failing to provide appropriate educational services for our growing minority population. And why that's significant is because our, our minority population is becoming what is American culture and what is or what should have been recognized as the melting pot. So it's just ironic that we're still kind of riding this colonial ride. Um, but I think as we take these steps with pedagogy, as we take these steps of qualitative research, we are able to provide this insight uh, and behaviors understandings, observations of human research, and and how we can provide better for our students. Our American population is no longer a, a white cisgender population. It has become, it has become filled, joyously filled with disabilities, with minorities, with culturally sustaining pedagogies, with all of these other things that make up a sense of understanding as, as a human behavior and a human right. And that's why I came back to the States and why I find it exciting to be able to write curriculum for this country because we are hesitant we are holding back on it but qualitative research is allowing us to provide this mindset to provide this ideology of how we are helping and providing for these students and what we can do and how we can do it and so both Lichman and Patton have laid out some ways of why and how qualitative research can provide these opportunities for our actual uh, student population and where we're going in the future. 